Welcome to the video on Data Science 1, Probability. We're talking about sample spaces and events in this video. All right, if you watched the last video, we talked about what a sample space was. And it's a collection of all possible outcomes from an experiment. And we haven't really talked about a way to turn these into real numbers yet. We gave a little idea of what a random variable was. But here we want to talk about the sample spaces a little bit more so that we have a better understanding of how probability will work in the underlying part. So any collections of outcomes from a sample space is called an event, and we're going to denote that E or F. Now, if you're mathematically savvy, this would be E is contained in the sample space S. This is very much like set notation. And uh, when you start looking at this, it, it will seem more complicated than it really is. So just hang in there. All right, so back to our fisherman example. Suppose a fisherman is interested in what type of fish will be the next to be caught. So suppose he's fishing with a pole so he can only catch one fish at a time. So let's suppose that the only type of fish that are there are bass, shad, catfish, salmon, or snapper. So here are a few possible events. E sub so one could be he caught a bass. Okay. E two could be he caught a snapper. E3, he could be, he caught a bass, or he caught a shad, or he caught a snapper. Notice that an event need not have just one outcome, and that's sort of the reason we want to have uh, an event that has more than one outcome, because if they have more than one outcome, then we can use them in interesting ways. All right, so once you have these sets or events, we're going to want to do some operations on them. So one common operation is complementation. So it's basically everything that's not in E. So everything that's in S, the sample space, but not in E. And we'll look at an example here in a minute. A union is E, uh, if we have two sets, then it's all the outcomes in E or F, and it's represented by this U here, where the complement is represented by the C. The intersection of E and F denoted E with this over arch is uh, the, all the outcomes that are common to both E and F. And the key words here are or and and. So if you're familiar with logic, or and and shows up a lot. And here's the word not. So if you're familiar with logic, it'll helpfully help you understand this. All right, so here, a complement example. A fisherman is interested in type of fish. Here's the same uh, sample space we had last time. So let's suppose his event is he could catch a bad, a shad, or a snapper. Okay, then the complement of that is everything that's in S that's not in here. And we notice that catfish is not in here, so it would go there. And we notice that salmon is not in here, so it would go in here. So it's pretty simple. You just have to go through and just pay attention, and it works pretty easy. A union example. Here, let's think we have the same sample space. Let E be bass and snapper and catfish be, uh, or F be catfish and snapper. Then the union is bass, catfish, and snapper. Notice the snapper is not counted twice here, right? Because it's, it's an outcome. We couldn't have an outcome of snapper, snapper on one pole, okay? But it could be a bass or a catfish or a snapper. Any of those would be fine, okay? So you don't put it in there twice. Okay, an intersection, same setup as before, bass, snapper, salmon, catfish, snapper, salmon, R, R, E, and R, F. Then if we intersect these, we would look to see what they have in common. And they both have snapper and salmon, snapper and salmon. So that would be our intersection. So it's just simply what the two sets have in common. It's pretty easy. All right, now let's suppose we take some of these ideas and throw them together, okay? Same setup as before, bass, snapper, salmon, catfish, snapper, salmon. Then the union here, uh, let's look at the union of the complements. So we can chain these ideas together. So what's the complement of E? Well, it's everything that's in S that's not in E. Well, I looked at shad's not in there and catfish is not in E. So that's what I have there. Then I'm going to union that. Well, let's see what's in F. Okay, and then let's see what's not in F. So shad and bass are not in there. So if I were to union these two together, I would get shad, bass, and catfish. As long as you pay attention to what you're doing, it's pretty easy. They sort of follow up order operations. Think of this as E complement uh, is like doing that operation before you would do the union. All right, same setup as before, except this time we're going to take the intersection. So if I take the intersection of these two, the complements, well, before I had shad and catfish and shad and bass, well, now only thing that's common to these two is shad. Okay, so it's pretty easy. It's just what's in common. 
All right, now there's some other ones that we're going to come across later, and I'm just writing these out so that you understand when we get to them later. So uh, notice that the union of a set with its complement should be the entire sample space because E and then everything that's not an E, well, you union those together, you should end it up with S. If we have events E and F that have no outcomes in common, when we take their intersection, we're going to end up with nothing, and we need a way to write nothing. So we could write it with a brace, brace with nothing in it, or we could use this special symbol, and this is called the empty set or null set. So if there's nothing there, there's no, no nothing in common, this is what we would write. We don't want to write zero because zero is an actual thing. So we write this because this is supposed to st stand for it's not a thing. Okay, so there's also uh, set operations of set minus, also called set subtraction. Um, so it says if E and F are sets, then E and this backslash F are all the outcomes that are in E that are not common to F. And you can also write it like this here. So it's the intersection of E intersect everything that's outside of F. Okay, so that gets us going to here. Going to keep the video short, summary. We can work with sample space and events. They're pretty easy. Complements are just everything, not an E. Unions form sort of a set addition. You can think about it as combining them together because the set tends to get bigger. Intersection are everything that the events have in common. So typically the resulting event is smaller. So if you're looking at this, if your event got bigger when you start intersecting, then you probably did something wrong. Paying attention is the key to understanding how these things work. And how uh, that's the big thing. Just pay attention and you can figure these things out pretty easily. All right, so in the next video, we're going to start talking about how to try to think about these things in terms of a probability standpoint. So, see you there.